All right, Joe, thank you. Well, we've been following the ongoing fight between Crestwood Midstream and environmentalists who have concerns about pollution of the Finger Lakes. WENY's Kara Demers joins us in studio tonight after speaking with an environmental company combating new developments about pollution on Seneca Lake in recent years. Kara? Renata, over the course of this ongoing battle, the environmental firm Toxics Targeting has consistently informed residents of toxic spills into our lakes, many of which they say are at the hands of the Crestwood U.S. Salt Facility. The most recent find to the company comes from over nine years worth of pollution. Now those at the forefront of Toxics Targeting say they're calling on Governor Cuomo to put a stop to it. We're basically saying New York State Department of Environment and Conservation, which serves at the pleasure of the governor, has got to A, stop approving these gas storage facilities, including methane as well as liquefied petroleum gas, because the DC can't prevent problems and they can't clean them up. That's A number one. But we also now know that all of the Finger Lakes have had water quality problems. Toxics targeting is bringing to light acquired documentation stating that U.S. salt was fined over $57,000 for repeatedly polluting Seneca Lake over the past nine years. In two separate reports in 2012 and 2016, the documents from the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation identify repeated incidents of pollutants and thousands of gallons of brine discharged into Seneca Lake. Toxic targeting has since written Governor Cuomo to request he adopt a temporary ban on all fossil fuel infrastructure projects. In a statement, Hang warned the public that residents simply cannot trust U.S. salt to be honest about its environmental track record, noting that this polluted water in Seneca Lake provides drinking water for much of the southern tier. And the bottom line is these fossil fuels are enormously polluting and they contribute to global climate change. So if we're not supposed to be using them, if we're trying to wean ourselves off of this addiction to natural gas, oil, we should start immediately, and that's how come we're calling on Governor Cuomo to simply cut uh, the consumption and the production of these polluting fossil fuels. Now, WENY reached out to Crestwood Midstream, which operates U.S. Salt regarding these past cases of pollution. We're waiting for the company to issue a statement in response. For now, reporting in the studio, Kara Demers, WENY News.